Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at enabling enhanced HTTP on our Config Manager management point and allowing our CMG client to connect to it without using a certificate. Enhanced HTTP is a way of allowing clients without a certificate to connect to your management point securely. So you can enable things like Cloud Management Gateway. Ideally, if you have a PKI environment and you can issue certificates to clients, do that. That's the most secure way to do this. But if you can't, and if you have real trouble doing that for some reason, then fine, let's go ahead and enable enhanced HTTP so that we can work with our cloud management gateway. Let's take a look at the console. So we start in our site configuration and sites, and I'm going to go into our properties section in the site. And in communication security, you'll see I'm currently set to HTTPS. Obviously, that's not going to be the case for our enhanced HTTP environment. So I'm going to go to HTTPS or HTTP and then choose Use Configuration Manager Generated Certificates for HTTP Site Systems. So this is what we're going to tick to enable enhanced HTTP. I want to turn off Use PKI Client Certificate when available because I want to demonstrate what happens when we don't have a PKI Client Certificate. And I'm going to choose OK. Over in our servers and site system roles, we're going to go into our primary site server and find our management point, right click and choose properties. Once that loads, we need to choose HTTP because we don't have a certificate for this site server. I'm going to allow cloud management gateway traffic and we're going to allow intranet and internet connection. So this hasn't changed, but if we had not enabled um, if we had not enabled enhanced HTTP, this wouldn't have been available to us. So we choose OK. And right now I'm going to go over to my client, delete its client certificate and see what happens when we try and get a connection through our cloud management gateway. So as you can see now, we have no certificate for the computer in the local computer store, personal store here. And this computer isn't connected to the corporate network, so it's not going to be able to retrieve a certificate from the DC, uh, from the from the CA. So we are reasonably comfortable that this is now not using a cert. So now let's give this machine a reboot and then see what happens in the control panel applet and see what we start using for authentication with our CMG shortly. Okay, this machine is now back. We're just going to log in as our test user and check the control panel applet to see what it's using for authentication with our CMG. Okay, so what we see here is our Client certificate is set to self-sign, so it's not using our PKI certificate any longer. But our CMG is still set up here, so that's all good. Well, let's take a look at the Config Manager console and see what, what it says in that. And here you see, this is the computer we're referring to here, and its client certificate is set to self-signed. But otherwise, it's online. Seems fairly happy. Let's take a look at the log file. So we're going to open CMTrace by browsing to the uh, the location where it is. It's just in here in uh, C Windows CCM. And the log I'm looking for is the ADAL operation provider, which is this one here. Okay, so a little while ago, it failed to receive the Azure Active Directory token. A generic error occurred. Uh, but then later on, we see it has received the device token which is good, and it's received the user token, which is good. And this is what we'll be using to verify to our cloud management gateway. So yeah, that looks good. And so that's it. I mean, really, it was a very simple task. We've enabled enhanced HTTP and we've tested that it allows us to connect non-certificate based clients to connect the cloud management gateway. In the next video, we're going to look at enabling co-management in this environment so that we can mix our workloads between Intune and Config Manager to get the best of both worlds. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll get more content to you as soon as we can. See you next time.